develop the bishop, attack in the knight. See if we can try and work the answer process as best possible. Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. That means attacking higher pieces with lesser pieces, attacking key spaces, key squares. And then remembering the T box, tension, keeping the tension at the right moment, watching for blind spots. Definitely don't overthink the situation and rewrite my predictions. I'm going to castle here because of the danger of the queen coming to the side here, putting a check on our king. So yes, rewriting the predictions definitely uh, so that then I avoid tunnel vision. And then I can make simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. Underneath all of those concepts, there are many other different types of concepts within there uh, that hopefully will help me see myself through to the game. I'm going to capture this knight now um, because it's not going to stay there forever. And now what he's got is a center, a center fortress with the pawns. Yeah. So I'm going to just develop my bishop out slowly here. He's developing his knight. I'm going to push the pawn here, hopefully bring the knight through on the back side of that. So I've got ideas of trying to nullify the knight, the, the center pawn fortress. He's, already, he's wanting to open it up already. So you'll have three pawns in the centre because he will take with his pawn. We don't have to take, but I think it's probably advisable that we do. Take with the inside or the outside. It doesn't matter because we're going to lose those pawns anyway. So let's just capture here. And let's just capture oops, let's just capture here. And then develop the knight attacking the queen. At the moment, because his king's not castled, it might be a bonus to us. But we have to make it work for us somehow. This pawn here has got one piece protecting it, which is the queen, which is under threat. We could potentially bring the rook here to actually attack this pawn. The queen does have a check on the king, which is probably what we're going to utilise. But the problem I've got is he just brings his white square bishop back. And that's why I'm sort of deliberating against doing that move. Could do that to then bring the queen across. He's wanting to exchange off the queens really, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Hmm, the knight can go here, but now he's got this double thing going on. I'm going to go with the queen with the check thing here because he's looking to cause some damage with his combination of the bishop and the queen. Like I said, this, his bishop is going to come back. This is why I really didn't want to do that move. Um, like I said, I could come across. Can't come there, can't go there because of the knight. Could attack his queen with something. With the knight, knight capturing the pawn here, captures his queen. Uh, but he's on our bishop. So could always go back. Can go up. Can go up just to attack this pawn. He's on our bishop. This pawn is going to be touching onto our knight. Let's go here. So it's a sticky wicket, but again, because his king's not castled, I'm trying to maybe get some pressure on that area, but we've got to think about what the opponent is actually doing to us as well. So that's key. That's the key thing, you know, with the king being here, our rook looking to come across here. 
putting pressure onto this pawn but potentially I think he's going to open up his dark square bishop but because I've got our bishop yes like we said so his queen is unprotected at the moment so we can just bring our bishop through so his queen will take our queen and then our rook will be on his bishop so it's again it's giving them something to think about his queen doesn't have to take obviously but um, we can take his bishop for free with our queen that's the positive side of things I don't know what my opponent's thinking of doing it's actually moved the queen out so we can capture the bishop like we said and then the knight has got this pawn here to attack if we do do that though then he's um, we can take a piece with the piece that's under threat and we can take a pawn here see I'm wanting to actually capture here so that then I'm putting a threat onto his king anyway but then his bishop just comes in front so I'm going to capture the pawn for now and he's got like a battery now coming down with his uh, king, rook, queen and rook <coughs> as you can see coming straight down on here so we have to be mindful of what the opponent can do to us too so we can take this pawn with the queen and try and get towards his king area maybe with the knight coming here get these rooks into the game he's got major threat this pawn potentially coming down to touch on this pawn here so yeah so he, he does have um, good stuff we can push bring this rook here to put pressure onto this bishop so our queen can at least put a check on the king maybe or even bring the rook up i'm thinking tempo wise he's wanting to push this to get this pawn open but we do have a pawn either side he's coming for the rook uh, he's coming for the rook we can go for his queen with the knight we can always put a check on with our air uh, let's go here first queen can come down and put a check on the king or it can come across here but it can't yet because the bishop's there so the queen is getting closer and closer towards our king area if we bring the knight here then the queen has got one square to go to that would be checkmate so the queen, his queen's probably going to have to come here to exchange the queens off, I'm thinking. Unless, of course, I'm missing something. So he's taken the rook, and I think that might be it. Yeah, checkmate. So that was an interesting game. Of developing, working towards um, the, the king area as best possible trying to nullify the attacks that the opponent had on us and then obviously seizing the opportunity to grab a, a checkmate position.